Aloha and welcome back. Looks like the warmer weather is finally here. We got the tiki short sleeve shirts out. It looks like this pandemic is starting to lift as the numbers are starting to flatten. And we got the most recent Exotica Modern magazine here. Um, as many of you know, I write for the magazine and there is a great article about the Fuchsia Tiki Bar here on page 30. But, um, you know, what I really love about this cover is I love art and it's... And um, what you notice immediately about this is the cocktail. Um, you know, I think we could probably assume this is a Mai Tai, the iconic tiki drink. Um, got the mint, got the umbrella, got the cherry, got the pineapple. Um, doesn't matter if you are preparing drinks at home or if you're charging $10, $20 at a restaurant, you really deserve to have a garnish. After all, the whole um, meaning behind the word cocktail is that there was um, a feather from the male rooster put in the drink so you knew that it contained alcohol. That's where we get the term cocktail. So how could they hand you a drink with just ice and, and maybe a straw? Um, at the very least, I would think that you at least put a souvenir swizzle stick in there, especially if you're paying that kind of money. Um, even when you get a plate of chicken wings for seven bucks, they're throwing some lettuce or celery on the plate just to dress it up a little bit, even if it's a little piece of parsley. You get the idea. A year ago at this time, I was at the Mai Kai. And before I say anything else about the Mai Kai, let me just say this. If you are a tiki fanatic, or even if not, if you just love Polynesian culture, you must visit the Mai Kai. So I really love the Mai Kai, but I was a little disappointed when I ordered um, one of my favorite drinks. I believe it was a Navy Grog. And um, it came just as you saw it here. No garnish, just the straw. By the time I got it, the drink was mostly melted. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, I want to take a picture of this. You know, I'm at the Mai Kai. You couldn't put a garnish on here? And so I spoke to some of my friends who knew the people there, and they said, well, maybe it was an off night, or maybe it was busy, and they ran out of the snow cones because they're very, very uh, labor-intensive. And I said, wait, it was a Wednesday or Thursday night. It wasn't a weekend. And even if you were out of the snow cones, couldn't you at least stick a cherry or some mint or an umbrella or something in there? So take a look at what they served me at the Mai Kai, and take a look at what I made at home. For the record, a cocktail should always get a garnish. I don't care if it's a slice of lemon. It takes you seconds to cut up a lemon. Seconds. Slip one in there. Dress up the drink a little bit. Make somebody feel like they're on vacation. They're spending a lot of money for this cocktail, more than they would an appetizer. So give them something. Make them feel like they are on vacation. Make them feel that they're special. And that's part of the show. It really is part of the tiki show. If you are drinking out of some of these fancy mugs, yeah, that, that kind of is kind of cool. You know, that's the garnish in itself. But even those, they get a sprig of mint, a cocktail cherry, even if it's a martini. Sometimes you will get a martini with nothing in it. Some people don't like the taste of the olive in the brine. Um, if it's a vodka martini, it typically wouldn't get an olive. It would get a twist of lemon anyway. A garnish is so important, in fact, you put an onion in it, they call it something else. It's no longer a martini, now they call it a Gibson. There are some instances when cocktails do not get a garnish. Some of your better cocktail books will tell you what to garnish it with, and sometimes it will specify no garnish. And that's the case of such drinks like the Allies, which is a version of the martini, or the Jet Pilot, sometimes even bitters could be used as a garnish, such as the Clover Club or the Pisco Sour. The average price for a cocktail is usually about $10, and the average price of a garnish is less than $0.10. Cents. You could get a whole bunch of mint for less than $2, a whole bottle of cherries for less than $2. Uh, these paper umbrellas are a little bit more expensive. Toothpicks are literally just pennies, but if you're really, really lucky, your store over by the fresh herb section will sell these edible cocktail flowers and if you accidentally bite into it it's fine nothing's gonna happen it's just like lettuce you could pre-assemble these ahead of time cocktail cherry and umbrella around the holidays they sell a whole bunch of these cranberries get creative get festive spear a few of them with a with a rosemary leaf and float that in your cocktail so never underestimate the importance of a garnish in your cocktail that's why i got it name and uh, hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Ah, refreshing.
refreshing. And you smell that mint. You smell that mint. I'm taking a sip. Now I feel like I'm somewhere else other than in a dive bar. Those tropic skies out there. 